Hello lovely people, Michał Kali Griggs from Tantra Movement. Today I would like to share with you one uh, very important uh, message what uh, came to me through my prophecy dream. The dream was similar than maybe you have seen the movie like The Last of Us. Very catastrophic, futuristic, doom scenario movie. How it shows where the future can go. And the message from that movie was very, very clear. It was saying, like this, if we individuals and the humanity will not do everything or even more than everything than possible to save that planet, then the many of the crises what the humanity is facing today, it's going to be confronting reality very very soon not only for some of us already what it's already happening but for most of us so it's time really to wake up I would compare the urgency of it and ignorance what is happening and the consequences what may happen or are happening already actually to what happened during the second world war the ignorance that would allow this to happen if you would know with all this what we know about the Second World War. If you would know, would you do everything possible to stop it? I feel most of us would say yes, of course, of course. But do you know that the worst things are happening right now? on the planet as a consequences of climate change and inequality between the people what is increasing both you know that there are so many crises what the mother earth is facing now crises situations what the humanity never faced before because destruction of the planet it goes so far these already have great huge consequences for the people for the nature as a many examples you know that every day 35,000 people mainly children are dying from hunger as a consequences of meat industry and inequal distribution of goods there are more food eating the cattle than the people and the people are starving and the cattle are killed those of you who ever were hungry you could imagine how it is to be born in hunger and die from hunger and that's the one of the worst torture i would think about it especially if your child is dying and you cannot do anything about it this is painful this situation increase through the climate change and destruction of the planet we have to come up 
with the solutions, the best possible, from any perspective possible. I bring Tantra as a solution. Tantra as a way to learn how to love better yourself, your partner, and all. Tantra as a way of healing ourselves from the core, liberating ourselves from the conditionings, what we didn't choose, expanding in love, growing in ecstasy. Tantra as a way of transforming from typical sex, what is very often connected with shame, guilt, past traumas, sex addictions, transforming it into so-called sacred sexuality, what is one of the most beautiful, most intimate, most energizing, most close expression of more and more unconditional love to ourselves and especially to our partners. But with our partners, we multiply this love so much that we overflow with the love, then we love it all. We love the nature, we love the animals, we love all universe, all humanity. Especially thankful the method, use it, don't lose it. We create so much love, so use it, don't lose it. It's a method of sublimation, bringing the energy up instead of losing it through the peak orgasm, what is ejaculatory orgasm by the man and clitoral orgasm by the woman. So bringing it up to the heart instead of losing it. I will share with you very shortly because on other videos I talk in more details but this is not master class about this you can find other videos first in tantric love making we take care that the woman get enough for her. this is very crucial and this is also healing for the woman not traumatizing in case when she doesn't get enough for play and then the method contains three parts the PC muscle breath and visualization the PC muscle is the muscle what we use to stop peeing when you train this muscle and when it's strong when you squeeze it with the squeezing this PC muscle we shut the energy up with the breath we suck the energy up and then visualization we imagine things because the energy follows attention you can imagine as a green light ball or anything else and then we all together with the breathing tighten the pc muscle from the genitals up to the heart breathe out relaxing the pc muscle back to the genital breathing in tightening the pc muscle up to the heart breathing out Relaxing the PC muscle back to the genitals. Thankful this, this too much energy, what was ready and to be exploded and lost, we brought to the heart. So we are more loving to ourselves and to our partner, more connected and more connected and loving to ourselves. And most important, we are far away from the point of no return. So we can continue with love making. The time is passing by. And then anytime when uh, we feel before the point of no return, we do maybe five, maybe six, maybe seven of those circles. Thankful them, we bring again energy up to the heart and we are far away from the point of no return. And we can continue like this, producing more love, more energy to ourselves, to it all. This is the most spiritual practice I can imagine. I never experienced more powerful, more good for the relationship. So um, yes, take this gift, master it and really enjoy it more than I do. <laughs> you would be very, very happy. Thankful this method, especially thankful Tantra in general. We care more for the planet. We want to do good because we have so much of this energy what we produce and we don't lose we just spread love 
through our life. I remember watching one movie and the wise old woman was speaking from the stage at some spiritual festival. And she was saying that if there would be hungry, wounded child in front of that crowd of that spiritual festival, we would all hurry up to help that child with all our hearts, without questioning, without thinking twice. That's who we are. That's what is our human nature. This, the, the children dying far away from us, doesn't make their pain any less. Doesn't make their death less painful. Wake up. Wake up, beautiful being. Beautiful human being. Open your eyes. Don't get only great things through fast media passing. Don't become numb with your heart for this, what is happening in front of you. I uh, remember one uh, of uh, my great teacher of first aid, Chinese acupuncture, Chinese herbalism, and being street medics. He told us one time, memory from the times when he was helping during the tsunami. And when he came back, people asked him a question. How did you manage to see all these dead bodies? It was not too hard for you to be around all these dying people? And he answered, how did you manage to see all these dead bodies in the TV and knowing that you are not able to do anything to help them? How did you manage? This touched my heart for the rest of my life. Thank you, dear teacher. Dear lovely people, do something. Choosing to eat less meat. Being vegan. Whenever you choose to eat vegan, you may imagine 16 children smiling, happy, thankful to you that they have something to eat, thankful to your choice. You save their lives maybe. Is it not beautiful to be proud of yourself for making these beautiful choices for these 16 innocent beautiful children? Every time when you eat less meat, you are influencing then more trees can grow thankful you. Amazon forest is not destroyed for meat industry. The air, earth, water, everything is much less polluted. The resources are not overused. There is no better choice decreasing the global warming on the individual level than making choice of eating less meat or even better vegan. Just to make that choice, it's very simple. It's healthy. Nowadays you have any burgers, any chickens, fish, all vegan and with much healthy ingredients with less pain and fear intoxicated into your body. You would be healthy and probably it's much more tasty like this. So this kind of consciousness, Tantra, especially the use it, don't lose it method, is bringing to us 
thankful this we make these better choices we have power to make these better choices we do good because we realize when we do good to others when we make other people happy we are more happy we are more loving ourselves we could be proud from ourselves live the way to be proud of yourself because you can save 16 children every day you can do so many other beautiful choices for the planet for the humanity and the time is now don't wait with this because when we would live in the catastrophic scenario we will regret and our children may ask us what did you do to stop it? Be proud with yourself. Have a proud answer that you did everything. Then you would be proud for your kids. And happy for yourself. Tantric love making. It gives us so-called cosmic orgasm. What gives us real experience of this beautiful slogan and teaching that we are all one. Tantra, use it and lose it method. It gives us this beautiful teaching as a real experience, not only just as a belief. When you feel that you are one with the planet, with the everything, with the humanity, with the earth, with the wind, with the ocean, then you don't want to do bad things for the others because you know it's like harming your own hand you only want to uplift the people to make them happy because you know if they are happy I'm happy if uh, you love them they love you if they love you you love yourself much better. So use it, don't lose it. Share love. Educate yourself. Make solution. Use this message to empower you. Thank you very much for your attention.